when we look at how this data can help communities make decisions. I'm Ben Winslow at the Great Salt Lake. Utah's Department of Natural Resources is utilizing some new technologies to help map the lake, which could give us new information and new ideas on how to help it. So they've been occurring for going on two months now. Um, so a lot of it depends on water clarity and conditions. On the Great Salt Lake, the Utah Geological Survey is using LIDAR sensors to get new measurements of the lake's topography. Uh, it is a topobathymetric LIDAR sensor uh, that operates by uh, basically recording the distance from the aircraft to the ground. Uh, it uses a green wavelength uh, at uh, 532 nanometers, um, but that allows us to get through the water column and actually uh, penetrate the water and get to the bottom. They fly over the lake in this special airplane. The LIDAR then maps the lake. Then there has to be a hole uh, cut underneath it so that the actual laser can fire below it and the detector can come up. This has never really been tried before on the Great Salt Lake. So what we noticed as the lake dropped to historic lows in the fall of 2021 and then again in the fall of 2022 was that the current bathymetric data that we have for the lake uh, really didn't match reality. What that can do is give us more accurate data of the Great Salt Lake's actual depth and the volume of water that's actually in it. Uh, this is a way to just much more accurately and better understand the lake as it fluctuates through these historic lows. It's already started to lead to some new discoveries about the lake that scientists say they didn't know about before. Zones around the lake that are surprising to us, so like Mount giant mounds, you know, several feet tall, several feet in diameter that nobody knew existed in the bottom of the lake. And so we can now in, like kind of hypothesize what might have created those mounds. We think maybe it's groundwater coming up through. Groundwater is a huge part of the Great Salt Lake story. So finding this direct evidence for groundwater coming up into the lake bed is really important. The Department of Natural Resources says it hopes that this pilot project, if it's successful, can help other saline lakes across the country. At the Great Salt Lake, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.